Hacker Sedley British Aerospace HS125. Yes, friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about HS125 700 aircraft. Usually, the name of this aircraft is HS125. Manufacturer Hacker Sedley British Aerospace Company. Category or type Corporate Jet. The Hacker 700 has its origins in D. Havilland DS125 medium size corporate jet which first flew in August 1962. A total of 77 units were built by D. Havilland before the company was absorbed by the Hawker Sidley. Following the merger, the design was refined to produce DAS 400 series and then DAS 600 series, whose stressed fuselage increased main cabin seating capacity from 6 passengers to 8, as many as 14 in high density arrangement. A new model, the HS 125-700 made its first flight in June 1976, powered by Garrett TFE 731-3R-1S engines. Dash 700 offered substantial improvements in cruise speed and range along with reduction fuel consumption. Dash 700 received US and UK certification in mid-1977. HS 125-700 received US and UK certification in mid-1977 with initial deliveries the same year. A total of 243 units were produced before DAS 700 was replaced by HS 125-800 in 1984. Hawker Sedley British Aerospace HS 125-700 aircraft specifications are as follows. Total number of crew capacity 2, maximum passenger capacity 14, propulsion 2 turbofan engines, engine model, Garrett TFE 731-3-1H, speed 807 km per hour, service ceiling means maximum altitude where aircraft can fly that is 41,000 feet. As we know that general commercial aircraft fly between 35 to 39,000 feet, but this aircraft fly up to 41,000 feet. Range of this HS125-700 aircraft is 4,482 km. Impetive weight of this aircraft is 5,826 kg. Maximum takeoff weight is 11,567 kg. Wing expand 1,433 meters or 47 feet. Length of this HS125-700 aircraft is 15.46 meter or 50 feet 9 inch. Height of this aircraft is 5.36 meter or 70 feet 7 inch. First flight of this aircraft 13th of August 1962. Total number of aircraft were built less than 1000 but nowadays production of this aircraft has stopped. More than 60% of total sales of this aircraft made to North American customers. It was also used by Royal Air Force as navigation trainer and was operated by United States Air Force as a calibration aircraft under the designation of C-29. On 13th August 1962, the first of two prototype conducted its first flight. A second aircraft followed it on 12th of December 1962. The second prototype was more aerodynamically representative of a production of aircraft and was fitted out with more equipment than the first prototype. The subsequent production standard aircraft incorporated several changes and improvements from the prototypes such as longer fuselage and a greater wingspan. The first production standard aircraft performed its first flight on 12th of February 1963. The first delivery to a customer took place on 10th of September 1964. The aircraft went through many designation changes during its service life. Hawker Sidley had bought D. Havilland the year before the project had started, but the legacy brand of DS designation was used throughout the development. After the jet achieved full production, the name was changed to HS125 except for American exports which retained the DS-125 until it was replaced by BS-125 for Beechcraft Hawker. When Hawker Sedley aircraft merged with British Aerospace Corporation to from British Aerospace in 1977, the name changed to BAE-125. When British Aerospace sold its business jet, 
divisions to Radion in 1993, then main variant of jet became widely referred to as the Hawker 1000. Production of the aircraft came to an abrupt halt in 2013 due to the bankruptcy of owner Hawker Beechcraft, who has suffered during the Great Recession in late 2000s in which demand for business jet has slumped for a number of years. The type has been in production for more than 50 years when manufacturing is stopped, during which time over 1600 aircraft has been produced. In April 2013, the type certificate and support responsibility for all 125 built was transferred to the reformed Beechcraft Corporation. As of October 2012, Beechcraft does not intend to restart production of its business jetlines. Instead, the company intends to alternately sell or dismantle the production facility for 125 family. Early models of the aircraft were powered by several versions of Bristol Sidley Viper turbojet engines, while later aircraft has adopted more recent turbofan power plants such as the Garrett TFE 731 and Pratt and Britney Canada PW300. Both engine drive an electrical generator and hydraulic pump which supply power to the aircraft systems. So in the event of a single engine failure, all aircraft system continue to operate normally. All control surfaces of the aircraft are aerodynamically balanced using setback hinges and gear taps. The flaps and air brakes are operated hydraulically, while the ailerons, elevators and rudder are manually operated. The design of the control sockets allow for a Colin built AP103 autopilot to be incorporated. The aircraft is equipped with the de-icing systems which uses a mixture of bleed air from the engines, TKS fluid for general airframe and AC electrical wind seal heating to prevent ice formation. Weather radar was incorporated into the aircraft avionics. The Royal Air Force equipped some of their aircraft with equipment to defend against attack by infrared missiles. Having entered services as one of the first generation executive Z, the British Aerospace 125 has been operated by a wide variety of customers, ranging from government and military operators to private customers and businesses. It has also seen use by the several airlines. Many of the aircraft customers have been located in North America. In 1990, out of 650 aircraft then being operated, more than 400 were being flown in United States. Reportedly, one aircraft was being sold every seven working days for a substantial period of the type's production life. Successively, larger versions were introduced to extend the type's appeal and the better compete against larger jets being used for the business tables such as Gulf Stream 4 and Falcon 900. Hawker Sidley HS125 has 700 aircraft used by the private operators, a taxi, said ownership and corporate charter operator worldwide. Between 1965 and 1972, Quanta Airlines used this aircraft for crew training. So friends, hope this video would be useful and informative to you. I would appeal to you to be in touch and stay updated with Davison today. Thank you.